I keep having this nightmare where no one can hear me. I'm locked in and I can't escape. My bike is faster than your network. Sprint, being with you is a real nightmare. Wake up, leave Sprint. Move to Metro PCS and get on a bigger, faster, nationwide 4G LTE network for only $30, period. Taxes and fees included. Sprint can't give you that. Switch now and get a free Samsung Galaxy. Metro PCS, wireless figured out. Ladies and gentlemen, XKO 34, Scott Groff, Antonio Perkins. The heat is about to be turned up. Muay Thai fighting at its best, making his way to the cage. Mike, the truth Jackson. He has his entourage, the beautiful ladies. A great team behind him coming in here, ready to make a highlight reel. Taking on Mr. Holloway. That's the only thing standing in his way. Mike the Truth Jackson is definitely making a statement of what it's like to be a real deal fighter. You've seen it in the movies. You're about to watch it in real life here. Mike the Truth Jackson, ready Ladies to put and in work. The following Muay Thai bout is sponsored by Metro PCS. It's in the 170 pound weight division and will have three three minute rounds. Your referee in charge of this contest is Don Turnage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the fighters fighting in the blue corner. He's trained in boxing, Muay Thai, and kickboxing. Tonight is making his Muay Thai pro debut. He stands 5'11 and weighed in at 170 pounds. Representing r and Boxing from Hickory, North Carolina. Hit him! Hallway! And his opponent fighting in the red corner. He's trained in Muay Thai and boxing, and tonight is making his Muay Thai pro debut. He stands 6'2 and weighed in at 171 pounds. Representing Houston Muay Thai and Four Ounce Fight Club from Houston, Texas, Mike The Truth Jackson. Right, Don Turner has both guys together. We're going to have the rules be explained. Mike Jackson. Boy tie. Yep, Mike Jackson will be in the red and black. Jeremy Holloway, the blue with white stripes. Both guys just over 170 pounds in this cage Muay Thai professional event. And I'll tell you, you know, Mike has gone from MMA to professional boxing and now. Uh, Muay Thai. I mean, this guy, what can he not do? Yeah, I tell you what, Mike, Mike Jackson is a ball to watch. And, uh, and, and, and and without a doubt, Jeremy Holloway coming out and letting him know right away, hey, I'm here to fight. Big left. You know, I'll tell you, you know, the Ooh, thing is. Two big lefts. My goodness. Another big left. Mike Jackson covering up. Holloway, oh, knee to the face. Yep. That one cut through the gloves. You know, Holloway, Holloway came out guns blazing and I, I think you have to do that against Mike the Truth Jackson you can't leave any room for for Jackson to get get a handle on you because he'll put you out yeah but but you got to meet the pace of a guy coming out too, Antonio and uh the truth you know did it has done a good job of, of covering up remaining calm and you know most fighters they they go explosive and then they think okay well that's that's all I've got but I don't know, Max Holloway might have more left in the tank. I mean, it's the early part of the fight. Oh, he yeah. just he wanted to come out and make a statement. Uh, he made a statement. He definitely made a statement coming out. I tell you, Holloway, look at the body on Holloway, man. I mean, I'd pay a lot of money if I could look like that. My goodness. But, you know, I, I'll tell you, you know, with Mike's background in boxing, footwork is going to be key. Head movement and footwork. Right now, Holloway is just, he's taking, he dialed it back a little bit. Maybe he came out too quick. Nah. Not too quick at all. Well, he's he's already overshoot, already shooting, overshooting his punch. But but Holloway, man, he looks like that 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 uh, Frazier style boxer. Well, he, he's being really cool. But here's the thing: you got to remember, you only have three rounds and three minutes 
in each of those rounds to impress the judges here, and the truth needs to get busy. This isn't a five round or 15 round fight, my friend. I mean, this is, this is three rounds at three minutes each. So the truth needs to go ahead and let something go. Because Holloway right now has, has, uh, has gotten the better of the truth in the round. Nice body shot. I mean, you look at the sheer size. I mean, in the reach, when you have long arms like that, I mean, you go you go across the cage with a jab. And the, I mean, God. Yeah, uh, Mike, Mike, Mike has got killer reach legs, as, you know, with his legs, with his hands. Uh, Holloway, man, I tell you. Holloway's coming out of different angles. My, yeah, he, he looks good, man. I, I have not had a chance to see him fight. You know, he's not only a physically impressive specimen type of a person to look at, but, you know, from a fight standpoint thus far, he looks fantastic. And I'll tell you, you know, it seems like Muay Thai might be his niche, though. If you're Max Holloway's camp, I'll tell you right now, he, you know, you know, he's very precise on where he wants to go with the kicks. He, they're low, they're inside, they're outside. Whoa. And, you know, the cage is not that big, so you don't have a lot of room to go. No, no, not at all. And we'll talk to you. No, you if I the mean, truth doesn't come out here, he's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got it. You, yeah, you cannot come out that. Now, I'm curious to know what what uh, Holloway, is he going to still have that 0 to 90 speed? Is he gonna is he gonna be able to tone it down? Did he did he blow his gas tank? No. All right, here we go, round two. Whoa. Wow, flying sidekick by but, Holloway, and, not, and just not a phase by Mike Jackson. Yeah, he just, Jackson was like, whatever. He but, was like, what is that? But but Jackson needs to pick up the pace, Antonio. As you and I talked uh, about during that that uh, break between round one and two here. You know you're you, you know you're playing with you're playing with Holloway. You got to get serious with it, and you got you got to wake him up. Give yeah. him something to wake him up with. Well, yeah, I mean, Holloway right now is throwing hard. He's throwing fast. He's being consistent about it. He's looking good. Uh, you, you lost the first round in the judges' eyes because of the pace, is my opinion. You know, it looks like it looks like Mike's trying to walk him down, of course, and just give it a statement like, you know, I'm not afraid of you. I can take everything you have. Yeah, and I don't know if he's loading up with that right hand, going with that sideways position, kind of feigning back, and then looking to launch that right hand. Uh, and, and look for a big shot, but he needs, right. in my opinion, you got to get busy. But, you know, I'm not the man in the cage, so it's easy for me to sit out here and, and do what I do, and that's commentate. Yeah, I'm definitely not in there. I would not want to be with, with these two men in here with a Muay Thai fight because, let's, let's just face it, they, they know what they're doing. Oh, you know they, what I mean? They're, they're big, early in their career with this, but they know what they're doing big, in there. Big time. And you, you see the truth really show some good movement right now. And he's and, and that I mean, look how he slips punches. Well, I mean, he's starting to see where it's real beautiful to he, watch Jackson. He, and Jackson is starting to realize where Holloway's range ends. And, and, and you know what? And I mean, just Holloway right there. I mean, there's like a 30, 20, 30 seconds right there where Holloway didn't just couldn't touch Jackson. Well, you know, and, and the thing is, Jackson's landing, but he's got. A, I mean, he's just uh, either Holloway has a solid chin. Or he's just not putting a, putting enough love on those punches just yet. No. That was a great overhand right, that, though. That was a really nice overhand right. Oh, oh, that'll wake you up right there. And, yeah. And, and, and <laughs> the truth is not even phased. Oh, he took a, another. Oh, well, I think eyes that, roll I, back a little I, bit. I think that, that one phased him a little bit, bro. Yeah. That, that second shot phased the truth. You definitely got to get your hands up, though. You definitely have to keep your hands up because Holloway's throwing punches from all kinds oh, of and angles. Holl and Holloway, Holloway caught him with a strong left right there. You know, the, the, this cage is small, you know, and he knows just how far away from the from the cage that he is. He keeps on backing up. He's not he's not looking lost in there at all. No, and I tell you, here's the thing. If Holloway decided to go ahead and throw, throw a kick in there right now, he might do a little bit of damage because the truth's looking at punches. He's slipping punches, slipping punches. Like we saw with Jose Soto. How about throwing a push kick out there, switching things up a little bit, and, you know, and, and setting up your hands? Right. Now that's, you know, again. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're Holloway right now, what are you thinking? Okay, I've, I've given this guy quite a bit in round one and round two, and he's just, my opponent doesn't look phased. Well, I think. What do you go, are, I mean, is your confidence kind of. Uh, no, I, I I don't think so. Whoa! Well, Holloway caught a heavy one right Whoa. there at the very at the at the at the, at the bell. Oh, and, and and the truth is strutting across. Yeah, the, the truth strutting like a like a bandit rooster right there. They save. It seems like he's saving it for round three. But why? Is that wise? 
No, I mean, if you can do your damage, do your damage, get it over with. Now, here's my thing. If I'm in Holloway's corner right now, right. I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling my fighter, I'm telling Holloway right now, you're up two rounds, feel good about it. Go in here, do just what you did, just don't get caught. Because he's gonna win this, right now he's gonna win this via decision. Right, now Holloway looks tired. And Holloway looks tired. Yeah, I mean, he but he's carrying a lot of muscle. A lot. He's a big guy. Okay, and that's the thing. You got to think of it like a V8 motor. A V8 engine is going to take a lot of oil and a lot of gas yeah. to keep that bad boy going. You have an amazing Camaro outside. Yes. You put the gas pedal down, it takes a lot to keep that bad boy running. And now, look, you got a hybrid. Truth is dancing, man. You got a, you got a hybrid in the Truth Jackson. You know, when he wants to use a little bit of gas, he can. When he wants to use a little bit of electric, he can do that. Well, Antonio, it, it leads me to believe this. I think Mike's down two rounds in the judge in the judge's eyes. Right. But what you said earlier, is he gonna wear him down? Well, it's gonna be interesting to see, but Mike looked over here and he kinda like, hey, what I got one more round to do? Yeah. And so if let, you know, could it be that he comes out guns a blazing next time in this third and final round? Because if he does, that'll be like as Steve Austin says, that'll be right. badass. Right. Well, here we go, man. Getting ready for the third round. Third you know, and final round of this. You know, it, I, I gotta tell you, man. I've seen the Truth box. I I have not I've not seen him in person do MMA, but right now I'm telling you, it's just like it's almost like uh, the tur the tortoise and the hare. Yeah, and, and and so here it is. And the tortoise is just taking his time. Well, and the, and the Truth already is. Look at the, oh my goodness. What he technique? Slips, he's slipping and he. What technique? There's that push kick I was talking about, though. So the truth, the truth is already on his horse right here. I mean, he's moving on his bike. He's on his bike. He's moving. And it's gotten caught a couple times. Right now, it needs to be a drag race. Whoa, little Whoa. slip. A little slip. It needs to be a drag race, and I think he's setting up that right hand to put the lights out on Holloway's what he's well, waiting yeah, for. If he can, because Holloway's chin has yet to be tested. Not yet. Holloway's chin has yet to be tested, and and Mike. I mean, Mike has got such great, I mean, I love his movement. I really do. Yeah. It's very unorthodox. Well, it is an effective, too, because he, he doesn't take damage. He, he's, he's taken a few good shots. I think if it had, had Holloway be, had Holloway been in this, in this cage with anybody other than the Truth Jackson, with his unorthodox style, both black eyes, probably some bruised ribs, and probably unconscious in the first round. Yeah, yeah, because Holloway, is, it's hard. But right here, th this is where the truth needs to go ahead and just unload. He needs to just get it done right here. I mean, that's, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I mean, he kind of came out on his bike at the beginning, and now he's, yeah, you're moving great and everything, Mike. Well, now it, but the, the truth is but, stalking Holloway. Well, what she needs to, and, and I like that. I like that. Because Holloway's allowing him to stalk him, too, though. He's not standing his ground. And what that means is maybe he is a little bit tired as he throws some big bobs. Now, this is where it's going to happen. Either Holloway's going to take the round right now and finish it off, or Truth Jackson's going to go ahead and connect and call it a night. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, I'm looking at the Truth Jackson, and I'm like, unbelievable. This guy, <laughs> the Truth Jackson has a chin. Oh, he, he, has a, he has an Andrew Sosa-type chin. Yeah, and he's, he slipped, you know. He's like, yeah, I slipped. My bad. You know, and when you when you fight like that, it comes it comes across like you don't take Holloway serious. He takes him seriously. He's in there. This is his style. Yeah, this, this is his is, style. This is Jackson's style. It's not. A, I don't take this fighter seriously. It's just this is the way that I fight, and it's working for me because he hasn't taken any damage. He's he's got his bell rung a couple times, but it hasn't well, put him on it, his it, back. It's been, been significant. Yeah, I mean, and it doesn't take away from Holloway. Holloway's a strong guy. Oh, he quick, is. strong. It's just. The Truth Jackson is very elusive. He, uh, well said, Antonio. Well said. He is very elusive. And neither one have gotten in the tie clinch. Have you noticed that? Yep, you're right. <laughs> and that's the and that's the. Well, here we go. Ten seconds left in this fight, Antonio. And you got ten seconds to knock somebody out. That's pretty much what it comes down to. That's exactly what it comes down to. Always going to go ahead. And he's scoring points. 
He scored a bunch of points. Yeah, he did. He did score a bunch of points, and I can't help but think that. I can't think that Hollow uh, helped. You he know, stayed, the, and he stayed pretty. The, Mike Jackson stayed pretty. He did stay pretty, but yeah. I think Holloway, in the eyes of the judges, did did what it right, took. Right. My opinion, Antonio. My you opinion. don't have to convince the crowd. You got to convince three judges. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And we had three very educated judges at ringside tonight. And one of the best referees in the business worldwide, and Mr. Don Turnage. Right. You know, Max Holloway, okay, if, if you're Max Holloway, did you perform and execute the way you wanted to? If I'm Holloway, did you execute the way you wanted to? Yeah, for sure. Okay. And what in in you didn't your opponent didn't go down except for a slip. Your opponent didn't take any physical damage to, to appear he was in a fight. But you're the one, but you're the guy that landed the punches. Yes. You're the guy that landed punches and for yes. two for the majority of three rounds, you're the guy that was the aggressor. Right. And in the judge's eyes, that means a lot. Yeah. Uh, even I know it's not MMA, it's Muay Thai, but I mean you're still landing the punches, the kicks, you're being the aggressor. I mean you're doing what needs to be done to win the fight by points. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored at 30-27 by unanimous decision. Hit him! All the way! Hey, here with your winner, Jeremy Holloway. Jeremy and Antonio are talking about it. We, you know, we kinda, we've seen the truth fight before. We kept waiting for him to show up, and you didn't let him show up. He was slipping and doing this, but he's trying to slip, and you just kept dropping bombs. Any, anything about it surprised you at all? Did you expect him to come out more aggressive? Because you really took that, you know, the judges saw it kind of the way we did. You took it to him. Um, I have my hats off to the guy, you know. He showed up. Um, I took the fight on less than a week's notice. So uh, I was prepared for whatever. I've been training since I've been in Dallas. I've been in Texas for the last six months. I've been to the last four XKO shows. I've been in Thomas's face like, hey, let me get on a card, man. Hey, let me get on a card. So I'm more of an MMA guy, but I'll take what I can get. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a great fight. You're saying MMA wants to be, that's your next step? Or are you liking the Muay Thai? You think you want to do this again? What will you tell me what you think you want to do? Man, I'm a combative athlete, so I don't care. As long as I get the bang, it doesn't matter. MMA, kickboxing, boxing, it doesn't matter to me. Well, I'll tell you what, first time in here, dominant performance, you look fantastic. I hear the ladies talking behind me, they think you look fantastic in another way. That's all real good and stuff, but the fact of the matter is you won, look good. Man, I can't wait to see you. Who you want to thank, anything you want to say to folks? Sir, first, all glory to God. I mean, he's the reason why I'm here, reason why I'm able to do what I do. Secondly, I'm a title boxing, members that are in the building. Thank you guys for showing up, showing your support tonight. And uh, I hope to be back in the future, you know. 170 is looking real good on me. All right, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Mr. Jeremy Holloway. Yeah.